What's up guys? Figured I'd start working more of this Texas root beer chert. I've got a few pieces here I want to spall out today. As many of you know, at the end of the last video where I was working this cool little preform, I said that I was gonna sell some small flat rate boxes. Well, didn't quite fit the whole box. So y'all got, y'all guys, <laughs> y'all are gonna get a really good deal. Uh, I'm just gonna start spalling out the stuff that I have left and just make some boxes. Uh, two of you ordered some stuff, so I need to go ahead and make as much as I can. And of course, keep the, the preform that's left. But uh, anyways, let's see what we get here. Do I wanna start out with the big mamber jammer? Maybe so. So we're kind of looking for one big point here in the middle but also try to get as many little good flakes as we can from this thing. Let's shoot back here. All right. Just some beautiful stuff. Uh, just, it reminds me of Flint River, but maybe even a little bit better, who knows? Hit a little high. Oh, no, there you go. There's a little, little area there that was funky. That one might be big enough for me to keep. I don't know. I'll have to make a judgment decision later. <laughs> uh, looking good so far. Looking good. Get a little, little flake there to keep. But hopefully y'all are having a good day. Doing a little bit of flint napping yourself maybe. I know some of you like to watch this while you're flint napping. So curious to know if you are what are you making today I know I'm telling you to stop your napping and to type something in the comments but curious curious what you got going on what, what do y'all like to make in other words let's go here and usually our best bet is going to be to kind of go across the middle but there are some moments where Shooting from the base is honestly going to produce a better flake. And so I'm um, just kind of debating here what I want to do. Nah, I may just I'm try to go for more flakes here. There we go. So a really nice flake. Now we can go here, get a little flake from the base. That is actually, actually a nice one. All right, and get one here. Nice little platform to strike. Should be a pretty good one. Broken half, there's another one there I can get. All right, let's go here. By the way, this is, that was really nice. This is one of the, the longer pieces of it that I had in the box. Uh, I just didn't get very many long pieces at all. Kinda, kinda turn the edge on that one. So I can strike from this direction if I want to. And maybe I will, that was a good one. Good one to put in a box. Let's go here. By the way, I have plenty of these little chunks. Like I said, this is probably the biggest one. So if you want a box too, you can definitely get you one. Um, but I'm gonna have to up the price to $35 because I found out again how crazy the USPS stuff is these days. So if you want another one, be 35 bucks for a big small flat rate. So the two of you who bought it beforehand, you got lucky, you got it for 30. All right. Some of you may say, eh, that's a lot. But again, I bought this for $7 a pound. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> this is one of those things. This is more or less just for you guys but 
a little bit does help from time to time. And a lot of these, I mean, it's kind of iffy. Probably won't throw those in. Just can't really do much with them. But um, probably switch down a size. There we go. In boppers. Let's go with this one. Still working on the boat in the background. I know some of you were asking about it. There's a good flake. It's kind of a rounder one, but it's got a good enough flat area there to work. But yeah, still working on the boat. Got a little way to go left on it, but. I'll have to give y'all an update in a little bit. I know most of y'all are here for flint napping, obviously, but I have to give y'all a little update in a little bit. Of course, it's gonna be to catch largemouth bass. Might be able to collect some rock in it if I'm lucky. Never had a real boat to myself, so I'm excited. There's a good one. That's eh, borderline. Still trying to go for a flake here. But I'll tell you what, I may just put it down from that. Start getting some more flakes from these. All right. It's almost got kind of a glittery look to it. That's neat. All right. Let's see what we can get from this here. I wish that was off, that would be helpful. It was. Yeah, that's a good one. Come on. There we go. Another good plate. It's doable. Again, I'd probably work these a little bit differently if I was doing it just for me, but I want to be able to help you guys out. I probably have enough for another five boxes worth, if I had to guess. That's eh, a bit too small. That'll do. So if interested, just reach out to my email, gulfcoastnapping at gmail.com. And I'll see if I can't put something together for you. Go from this side here. Should be able to get us something. Yep. Oh, it broke. Time for a new one. Always in need of a new abrader, I'm telling you. I put them to good use. There's always a breaking in period that I have to go through. Because I like mine a certain way. Alright. I think I can still overcut it here. Oh yeah. Good little flake. Slight curve to that one, but should be okay. Just keep doing this, I guess. I 
But even if you make one point out of it, maybe you could sell it for $35 and get your point, get your money back on one of these. So if anything, it's just to have something that I've worked. There's some refining I can do on this one for sure. But I think for sake of this video, I'm just gonna call it. Like I would probably round this over. This is not gonna be good. Oh, it actually was good. We'll take that. Okay, I'm gonna put that down. And let's see here. Let's go with this one. Another neat little chunk. And I kind of like to abrade, even though I'm going to get higher than the, than the edge in most cases. Yeah, it's doable. Nah. But these chunks are just kind of begging to be spalled out. Even one like that, I mean, that's definitely usable. Again, it's, it's a small flat rate box, so nothing too crazy. Now, normally I just go ahead and run this ridge, but I'll be able to get as much from this as possible. I think I wanna just keep running the way we have been. a good one. This one won't be as good. Some more of a cleanup flake. Uh, nah. Nah. That one will do. That one's flat. Well, cool beans. Uh, you know, there are a few more of these. I'll probably work to be able to get these boxes intact. But um, anyways, I hope you enjoy me flint napping, if anything. Let's see here. Uh, I think the rest of this is just gonna be main thinning. Probably won't produce a Huge flake. That was doable, usable. Marshall, lay down, buddy. Good job. Good boy, right there. It's always in the way, man. Caught that one on the cortex. That's a shame. <laughs> now I'll probably run this ridge like I was saying I would. Probably just leave it there, leave it at that. Um, so I got a few by faces, by faces, a few that I've kind of worked down to see what I want to do. This is honestly square axe kind of territory there. Look at there. That one might be a square axe. You never know. This one will probably be a Clovis, and this one, who knows what it'll be. But got all these flakes. Remember, this is from the last video. And all these flakes I'm gonna pack in, they'll probably be able to fit, honestly, the majority of the flakes that we've got here into this one. And uh, still got, obviously, a handful more. Another good handful back through here. And um, I'll just be doing this as uh, until I run out. So 
if y'all want a box, feel free, let me know. And more than that, if you stay to the end of the video, we got two points on this, so. Uh, now there is a, a Clovis out of this material in the previous video at the very end. You'll want to go check that out. My best Clovis I've made. Uh, this is a Coral Harden point, Southern Harden base. It is thin. It is, it's fairly translucent when you hold it directly up to a light. It's kind of a pinkish. And um, anyways, I thought about maybe like, uh, I don't think the light's doing it justice here. But, um, and you see a little bit of the translucence. I thought maybe um, serrations are really nice. Like, like 75 maybe shipped. Then I got another one over here. Where is she at? I know you're over here somewhere. Where are you at? You little rascal. Oh, there we go. This is a greenish, orangish, with blue fleck harden. With a slight bevel. You see the slight bevel? It's even more translucent. And, uh... I'm gonna sell this for 85 or 80 feeling generous. This is, it's just incredible. You know, to get this color with the blue highlights is really neat. So just a cool coral harden point if you want it. So anyways, let me know and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back to doing some napping. And hopefully you enjoyed and I know I've been selling some things recently. I gotta, I gotta make some updates on the boat. That's partially why. So, uh, hopefully you understand. Appreciate you guys, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks for tuning in. As always, appreciate you. And we'll see you on the next video.